Hey, hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah. Uh, today we'll be playing The Wolf Among Us. Uh, hopefully we would be able to finish it. Um, as far as I know, uh, from searching online, it's roughly three hours altogether for episode four and five. So... Mm, I guess I don't really want to um, dilly dally too much. Uh, we should just start the game in, in the event I can't finish it. But anyway, yeah, let's just start it and um, let's see how it goes. Okay, appearing, nice. And yeah. Let's just go. Episode 4. Let's do this. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. You're welcome. How could you do this to me? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess I finally see you for who you are. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Ooh. But, you know... Just... take him, okay? Take Crane! Well, this is a, a beautiful relationship we have with Ouch. Crane. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the Queen. Well, thank you for the, um, reminders. Reminders, uh, I guess. Previously on, <laughs> a recap, recap, that's the word. See you around. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. Oof. I figured I'd be done um. before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wow. Please, hey. baby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, please don't... Uh. 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 Come on, game. Please don't make me go through this. I'm almost tempted to censor this whole thing for you guys, but... <laughs> okay, you can tell I'm quite squish, squeamish. He's lucky to be alive. 
And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. Well, I got no choice here, though. Well, he um. should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. It is the job, though. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few <laughs> minutes to finish with him. Don't crowd him, Snow. I, I Don't think crowd I him. Stay at least until he's out of the woods. Believe Ooh. me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work. So, if you wouldn't mind. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done well, in a moment. We got Just to please, give us the time. We got to reassure her as well. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Indeed. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. Ooh, okay. Great. So we managed to do that. Interesting. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... Well, I've got no choice no here, joke. Doc. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. So I am weak to silver. That's why. Mm. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. <laughs> nope, he I can't. It's just been an unusual couple hey, of days. Hey, Fuzzy. I know, but please How's it going? don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just uh, keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. <laughs> Wrong choice, I suppose. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. Ooh. So, how do you um feel? And immediately to the bottle. It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Uh, Hell, I've seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. That seems a bit rude, actually. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or... Or died, I guess. Oh, okay. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Sorry about that, Snow. I've never seen uh, you like that. Well, and uh, Heart arrived. Mm. You know him. He's never worried, and even he thought you were. Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong Come on, way. Colin. Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. That's well, true. I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should um, I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking was over? Best. Or mm. is Crane still the thing? The crooked man. Bloody Mary, <laughs> the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those True. are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do mm. when you're playing with house money. <laughs> So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks. 
You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? Indeed. This is... I thought he was just a loan shark. Mm. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting the crooked the man has got to be like the leader the of the underground Crane or something. Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what Crane can this have to do used. with Faith and Lily? How long has mm. this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet. And the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? True. Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. Kind of. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. True, true, true. We need to do things the, the right, right way. way. What does that mean? The right way. <laughs> what do you think I mean? I don't know, uh, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Look, oh, I know things haven't. Colin great stepped recently, up for me. We're still doing our best. That's not good enough. Well, so starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure is driven snow. I'm not sure that's gonna I'm work arbiter. though. Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters um... to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, oh, Bigby, wow. I care about <gasps> how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically <laughs> the president of the Big B Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone understands. He'll get the job done. <laughs> now I understand why you say call him I'm for the win. To... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. What? Haven't and I shown you enough respect? Has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Whoa, Are you gonna let her whoa, talk whoa, to me whoa, like whoa, that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, no. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. You haven't seen the farm though. Like, isn't isn't a farm Wolf's residence. Well, that's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Doesn't the farm Guess have who's waiting in your office right now? Issues. Bluebeard? Nerissa. Nerissa. Oh. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. Interesting. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, no Big idea. He's got an admirer. <laughs> you always do well with the. Uh, well, since that was my reaction. I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Uh, yeah, you Consider should. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. 
Okay, well, I guess that's good enough. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. She hey, is. You're not really sort gonna of. send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she um, seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I don't think that rule is. Um, I guess, I yeah, the farm isn't a good place right now, so I'm not sure we should enforce the rules before we actually fix the farm. You know. Ooh, yay! We've reached the tidal. I've just realized that I'm blocking a bit of the subtitles as well in this. Hmm. Maybe I should make the game smaller or should I move? Mm hmm. Love the title screen. Title screen? Yeah, I guess you can call it that. Episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing. Nice, nice, nice. Hello. Hi, Sheriff. What's up? Oh, it's Hi, morning. Son. What do you have for me? Have a this seat. is the first time I see my office too, I think. This is like the third or fourth day I haven't slept. I... um... are you okay? Um... thanks you for asking. Good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> <laughs> um, Big B, not sure you should be smoking though. Puff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. So, what's, what brings you here? Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. Yep, I so do. that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? <laughs> Good I point. I did sleep when I was I dead. Waste your true, time. true, true. But I don't want you wasting your own time either. Ah. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go um. ahead. Um... It... might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. Ooh, okay. If Wrong I option, I guess. Like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Hmm. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone. Are you talking about and Lily and Faith? Uh... Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? It sleeps us you. Is oh, friends okay. Matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Um, are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. 
I need you to know I want to help, but Yeah. But um But your lips are sealed. My my reactions and replies I'm are so sorry if I'm wasting your time. Kind of rude in a way. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do um, you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? What? Oh, what would happen if I remove the ribbon? No, 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 no. Spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there no, 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 What? You can't. Just stay back. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do that. Slow down. It's all right. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please, don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Ooh, okay. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I wish I could do something. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? Yeah, I'll try. I could be in a lot of... Trouble. trouble. Okay. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Assuming I remember. <laughs> oh no. Why does why do Sorry, we have to make I it look just so need suspicious? To talk to the for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. Okay, so she's hinting that I should. That was uh, abrupt. Meet Beauty and Beast. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then, good work. So about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're I say it is. scared mm. about what's been going on. That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. Oh. She was looking for financial assistance right I told her there was nothing i could do and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else you pretty much pushed her to it, the you crooked don't think she man. meant that she was going to go to the crooked man do yep. you that she would did. explain why they called we need to solve this before something else happens who knows what i have other matters to attend to Please be safe, though. Huh. That seemed like a weird interaction. Like when they just... Not even... Hmm. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Oh. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have <laughs> to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beast. 
I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets, too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen. Wow, okay. I'm, in a huff. I'm, I'm through talking anyway. I just noticed that I still have the money on me as well. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Wait. Open. Knock. Right. Hello, what's up? Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Uh... Stirring the pot? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been... Surprising me a lot lately. Well... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. I'm Who not here it? to... Who's there? Um... If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? Hey, you're the one that attacked first, man. No it's wonder pal, Beauty Bigby. doesn't tell you anything. Hi, baby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. In but uh, okay. Thanks for inviting me in. So I guess I can hmm. explore. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can <laughs> to make a problem out of this. What are you doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way what? he's behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. Ah, uh, so that's you why you're annoyed at me. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. Wait, why did I just knock on that? And answer. That's why is I it called. because there's something behind we'll it? Doesn't later. look like it though. To Big B. Mm. Fine. Talk about living talk. in the we'll talk. Earn. Oh, oh. Why do I have to go and knock on everything? <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah. You know Understandable. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place? It looks uh Expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Uh... That's all I ever do. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. <laughs> what if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. That is true, Beast. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the crooked man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. Did I just trip so much him? Debt? <laughs> Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? I would we say you are we never not meant for it to get beauty. Like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who uh, would we be if we just lived like... Um, okay. 
Am I gonna pick that up? Please no. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. <laughs> um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? Are you gonna get that? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him get it. Oh. What the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit mm. off from some pizza place. Phone rings off the hook sometimes. Who was it that? It probably threatened you him. Know who that was. Don't hold out on me. It's gotta be Bloody Mary, right? Or something. Phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect. And we aren't safe. Even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Are they going to Lucky Paul, tell me? Uh, that's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. Right. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey hey, about Addis. loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Did you ever see the crooked man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. Jersey Devil? I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking True Bloody that. Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if Ooh. you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Well... <laughs> I guess... You know that butcher shop? The cut Ooh, above? butcher! It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The okay. Is, it's for the crooked man. Oh, is... And I don't oh. think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta um, understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to what, the same What do you place, remember, Fuzzy? It always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? <laughs> Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with... Okay, <laughs> I've I've been trying to find like a perfect timing to actually reply to your uh, questions, but that doesn't seem to have a yeah. So I'm just gonna pause the game. Uh, each stream's going pretty all right so far. There's a lot of information that that has just um come about in this game, and I'm a little overwhelmed in that sense, trying to get uh my head around it. Um, and yeah, what do you remember, Fuzzy? Or oh, is that gonna be a spoiler? The refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said oh, I was reliable. Okay. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. Uh. It's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, okay. gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. Wait, wait, wait. If Mary That's... works out of there, I need to look into it. That's like way too aggressive. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay, you it's fine. You shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. 
None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Actually, I do. Um... No, probably not. So, where are you going? Are you giving me a choice now? Sideways. I'd like to know where it's coming from. Hmm. So I'm supposed to choose either the butcher, yeah, or the lucky pawn. Oh, okay. Good thing there is no timer. I would have such a hard time choosing. Um. There is a choice coming up. Oof. You do end up going to both. So oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, I don't feel so bad, like, having to choose now. But let's see. Uh, the butcher is... Uh, where I can find Mary and stuff, I think. Lucky Pawn. That's where Jack mentioned before as well. I think I'll try the butcher first, I think. Yeah, just in case. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to the butcher I don't first. I know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby. Once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but. Is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, what do you mean maybe indeed? You can make this all just go away. Go we away. Would really appreciate it. What do you say? Um, can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not going to let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. For a second, I thought there would be an option for me to give them the money I have. But I guess not. <laughs> not that I'm gonna heat that, I suppose. Then again. Let's play nice for a bit. Oh. Um. Are we in... New York then. Interesting. Yes, I never it never clicked where where exactly we are for me. This isn't a very stocked fridge either. So Hmm. Not very appetizing. Yep, indeed. Solid. Would want to eat this. So it's definitely a front for something. Huh. Make it real. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Doesn't right. have any. The shelves are also empty here. So it's definitely a front for something. I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. <laughs> okay. Um, package. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Oh, right. Auntie Greenleaf hmm. has that too. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at Auntie Greenleaf's. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, hello. Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, <laughs> let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Um... Sirloin. Johan. I want to know exactly what's going on here. I don't we think I want to sell, sell out. Sell out? Did you want to yeah. buy something? Sell out. Uh, <laughs> beast. Yet. 
What you see is <laughs> what you get. There's a panic button just there too, I think. You don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, um, I would. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I, Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? No. What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta he go check the on All right. go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Oh no. I this is back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Very scary. Uh just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I'm not gonna review my location. But oh, then again, I'm moving the meat aside, so... I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. Hello? Please don't jump out at me. <laughs> Oh. oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Use your legs to lift, not your back. Huh? You'll get hurt that way. Now, what the hell are you <laughs> doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a um... simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. Not sure about I that, can't. but sure. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest, I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I see. I, I just work the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? <laughs> I'm not part of the crew. I, I don't know who or, or what goes on back there. Well, crew. I can the kind of. People. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb. Mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Uh huh. That's what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't yeah. know what they do back there. Okay. I swear. And, and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. Am I going to... I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the day. Big... Shh. No sounds. Am I going to force the door open if it's locked? I guess I am. Hmm, okay. Oh no, this Q thingy. Okay. Ooh. Ah, so they are cooking. And they employ slaves, I think. Run. I see. Whoa. 
So what are they cooking? What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? Like, obviously. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? I love the <laughs> bloody it hasn't floor, been floor easy chains. For me. You, you think uh, I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. I wonder what kind of slaves they employ, though. Like, I guess not exactly prostitutes. So, this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, uh, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. So they are cooking glamours. I was thinking if it was glamours, because of like the ingredients here. Shackles, man. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Of course not. Man, looks like um, Fable Town is really, really worse than everyone knew. Well, I Maybe say everyone. Just don't touch anything back here, please. I guess people who are in the up and up, I guess, like snow and stuff. I wonder if Bluebeard knows about this. I. What are they making hmm. here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. Hung of dog. <laughs> wow, of nasty okay. Spells you can make with the right equipment. Can I check? Okay, I guess not. Um, packages. Oh, that's so that's simple. why. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? Guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Oh, Eh? What? <laughs> what? I'm so sorry about that. I guess yeah. I set I set the night bot to not sp not allow spamming. I think. Wait, but that's not even a lot of spam. What the? I'm so sorry about that, Fuzzy. Uh, how do I? How do I? Uh. Un un time out you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wow, I might need to check that uh, setting again. Maybe I put it too strict. Sorry about that, sorry about that. Uh. Huh. Huh. Looks like math or something. Oh? Wait, so I guess this is... People who owe them money, maybe? And see above. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Oh, but then this is a lab for... <laughs> True, only 15 seconds. This is a lab for lammers, so why would the money lock be here, right? Whoa. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I I, I don't know. 
a lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The gear, and slave labor to work it. So these must be the raw materials. No wonder he needs so much. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains. He's... he's enslaving fables. On my watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. And that fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, if finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Well, I don't have him no. now. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Yeah, Why don't I can't... you just use yep. that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. I yeah, can't do that now. Stuff like that mirror. I'm surprised that well... you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Do it right from your living room. None of your business, Butcher. Don't worry oh, about it. That was a bit okay. too... Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Where? Pawn. They uh, probably took okay. rain there too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I <laughs> supposed to do now? Huh? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my hand. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. I'll try. I don't even know if we have the power to do that. Considering all this is going on without us knowing anything. Hey, I haven't checked out everything yet. Hmm. Yeah, why did... Okay, never mind. Can I go back in? I guess not. Alright. The lucky pawn it is. Hello. Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... My fucking Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? But you, I'm uh, the guy who just gonna... Sure. I'm the guy that keeps uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no Wait, part of this, what? Pal. You push me I thought I was going to... And I okay. will have one hell of a... So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. Ooh. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... Ooh. You piece of... Uh, 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 uh. uh. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? <laughs> Ooh. That's it? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why wow. should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? Ah! You fucking mother! Oh, mother 
fucker. Oh. 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 Shit. <laughs> this is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Oh, so that's what you are. <laughs> oh, hey, isn't that the X? Oh no. Yikes! <laughs> Fucking stay down. There she is. Oh. Ooh. Almost missed that. Am I gonna survive this? Oh no, Q again. Q. Hey, hey assholes. I found her. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 I probably can't carry the anvil at the moment. Okay. Isn't that the model from Crane's place? Whew. Okay, I think that went well. Oh, what are you gonna do? Ew. Magic mirrors missing shard. Where Who is, is helping me? Bloody That's Mary nice. It here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything. Do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around, never in one spot. You'll never find it. Okay. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Okay, I guess that's where I gotta go and find. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. I just need the shard. Oh, wow. Lots of pockets in here. No time for traveler's checks, huh? More money, I guess. Uh, I live it. That oh. sick piece of... But if it went on... Oh, I see. Is that a funny thing then? That the woodsman would join? The shard. Nice. It's the shard. Finally. Oh. <laughs> I see, I see. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's... Nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. 
So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure hmm. as shit is ready for you. Yeah. I feel like that's... Out of smoke? Of course. Wait, come on. Offer it to him. He helped you. Thanks. Shitty grand. <laughs> well, you asked, and beggars can't be choosers. I'm not Thanks for the lie. help, though. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. <laughs> that would be funny, as well. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about oh? it. And get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Thanks, Woody. You're a good one, actually. Oh, we're near the trip trap. Wanna ride? Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? Know me. Man, I kind of wish that I dragged the fight on a bit longer now, just to see the, <laughs> just to see the the punch, the Woody, and see his reaction. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. Crane was helping himself to the community coffers. It means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. That work, piece baby. looked too small to fit You've that big hole. Day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pond. Oh, but I see. He told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Is he trying to tell me something, Don't though? Go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. I'm believable. Oh yeah? Take a number. <laughs> I don't understand. This piece just doesn't That's want for to calling me us. a dog. Do you have an idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience. Um... So this process can be a little touchy. Had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some. Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. Oh, okay. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> That's a bit ironic, but Is also kind of funny. Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. 
He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. Yeah, those two. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Oh. So, Toad, mm. come here. I thought I made myself very clear. Maybe I should have taken the money from Crane so that I could actually pay to it. Well, you what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? That is true. I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Look, I don't write the checks around here, but I know I had a hand in it, so I'll try to get Snow to take care of you. Please do. It's the only way I'll be able to get me glamours. Yeah, all right. But uh, this isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You eh, know that if you're true. out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig? Hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worse kept secret in Fable Town. <laughs> Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If what you is give it? me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch. How much are the glamours then? Don't take TJ from the only home he knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. <laughs> that is cute. The way he jumps. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. Well... I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? He's unglamored when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen well, this world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? Oh, I don't know if the me. crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. But someone did. I don't know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Yeah, it's it is a yes, mystery. I believe the mirror is repaired. As to why Faith and Lily has to I die. Have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm You're sorry, welcome. I just I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. Maybe I should have said 
I want to know too. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Oh. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh, she knows. <gasps> what just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Interesting. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, um, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. He changed. Ah. Uh. The door, it moves. Yep. what I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have um. your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fabletown government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. I only chose that because I don't know. I... If he's gonna be threatening my life, I don't want to be like not killing him, you know? Then again, hmm... I'm not sure if Snow would um, accept self-defense. Oh, he's still here. Okay, okay. Time to do this, I guess. Uh... Whoa. Well, I guess no way back. Okay, this is scary now. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. Huh. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed I guess to I bring did. you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Yeah, I don't want to make trouble for him. If I do, who knows what a crooked man would do to them. I'm not about to... Uh... Thanks for understanding. Destroy lives. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. Or an escort, for that matter. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone... like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little Who kid. Who is Tim, though? I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. 
Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? Uh... A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I still don't want to destroy his. What did I tell you, Ed? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. You got a job I to do. Scared of you. Sheriff Wolf, sir. And who is? Who is? Who is the crooked man? Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the oh. accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Well, this door is. <laughs> you see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Hmm. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Are you trying to cut me in on... All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Ooh. I like this ending. It's an ending, I assume? Based on how it's... Hello, game. Okay. It is an ending. Nice! I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, no, sorry. The Who am I going coming. after? And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Sorry, that shocked me. <laughs> okay, looks like episode 5 is kicking up the action a bit, I guess. It's fitting, I suppose, because it's the end of the whole story. Um. Oh, in the majority here. Interesting. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Wow, which means there's actually quite a big portion of people that tried to remove the ribbon or I suppose did indeed remove the ribbon <gasps> that is that is a bit scary I wonder how that scene plays out um okay majority went to the cut first okay I'm in the majority here again Oh, I'm in the minority this time. Interesting. I think this is the first time. <laughs> Calling for the win again, indeed. I'm actually quite uh surprised that he actually spoke up for me. But that, I guess that makes sense since he always comes to my place when he's out of the farm. So it would make sense to believe that both of them are sort of friends. Oh. I'm kind of glad I didn't have to watch that then. I'm a, I was already grossed out when Big B had to set his arm. Hmm, but then again, I'm kind of curious. Maybe I'll 
maybe I'll Google that <laughs> that part on YouTube later on or something. Um, but okay, yeah, I think this is the first time I'm in the minority, if I recall right. Cool. All right, all right. Let's move on to the move on to the next episode. I'm excited. Let's let the credits roll. We gotta respect the credits. <laughs> trying to trying to not hide the names with my big head. Um he won't speak up. Oh I see. Oh, I'm glad I was nice to him then. Lubiet's Dave Fenoy. Wait, why does that name seem familiar? Laura Bailey. Dave Fenoy. That's a very familiar name. Where have I heard that before? Hmm. Looks like I have something else to Google. Assuming I remember it. Oh, John Gamble. That's a very interesting name. Uh, last name. Gamble. Or maybe that's a nickname. Hmm. I don't know. But cool. Imagine you just walk up and... And you have to say like, Hello, Mr. Gamble. Is that- okay, that clock's not moving. I thought- yep, okay. Whew. Peekaboo the cat. And that's a cute pet name, I assume. Tree-legged boy blue. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I don't know who Tim is. As in which fable. So there's actually, I think, three fables now that I'm not sure. Oh, hello, binding. Thanks for the follow. And I just realized that follow thingy is being blocked by my game. Follow thingy? Um. Oh, whoa, what? Okay, wait, how do I look at... Hmm, how do I see what... What's being... Caught? Hmm... Alright, I don't know how to... <laughs> I really need to look at my uh, settings and stuff but anyway yeah let's just go straight into chapter 5 chapter 5 episode 5 um yep let's do this i mean your eyes and the teeth you're not really supposed to do that are you oh all the way from the start not if I can avoid it. Oh, well, I guess it's because episode 4 and 5 took a while to come out. Before... No. Holly's sister. Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he... If he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I do, actually. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Oh, symbols. Okay. We're destroying the tree. No! Hmm. We're not yeah, it's not showing me now. what the reason is, so I'm not sure what, hey, you're not what was really the cause. Farm, are you? 
I'm so sorry about that binding. If it was a, uh, if it was a uh, innocent symbol. <laughs> oh, and continuing my oh thought. Oh God, Big B! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Right. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Okay. Uh, nice. Title screen. Yeah, uh, my thought. What was it? Unknown fables. Yeah, I think there's four now. I know I mentioned three, but the recap showed me four now. Dr. Swineheart, right? Is that the name? That's a fable I'm not familiar with. There's Tim. Uh, the Crooked Man. Oh wait, that's four. Five now, I guess. Uh, and Bloody Mary. So, uh, I assume the Crooked Man is a character... That's... Uh, built for the game and not exactly a real fable, maybe? You've come a what? long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, oh. you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Are those gonna be silver bullets? Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's um, elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. This what do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. It is silver. Nice. Okay. I got to be wary well, of Sheriff, that. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. Uh. You forget what happened at the pudding and pie? You and your goons tried to kill me! I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. Wow. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that uh... doesn't change what happened to you. And I can only offer my sincerest apologies. You didn't stop it out of the kindness of your heart. You stopped it because Snow White offered up Crane. That may have appeared to you to be the case, but I assure you... It wasn't. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. Um, so and which employee is that? But I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. Oh. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You Wait. So he's try. It's either he's trying to... Cover up? that it was his order and um, push it, it onto like a rogue employee or something? Is that what he's trying to do? Also, um, okay, urban legend. Yeah, I do, I do know that Bloody Mary is an urban legend, but I had thought that it was just uh, as in the characters were uh, were from like the um 
What do you call those stories? Those fantasy stories? Fantasy? Bedtime stories? Like Snow White and you know, all, all the other stuff. So I guess the game uses Urban Legends too then. Crooked Man is a real one, similar to Boogeyman. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I have so many things to Google now. Just to see like their backstory, you know? Okay, anyway. Uh, so the Crooked Man is trying to... Yeah, I don't really buy his story that is a rogue employee considering how everybody is uh oh yeah that's the other one that i wasn't uh familiar with the jersey devil oh yeah 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 you've got a point fairy tales right that's what you call them <laughs> Uh, my brain couldn't think of the word and I just called them like, what did I call them? Bedtime stories? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, cool. You know, I think I mentioned this before, but like this whole um Fable universe thing seems pretty interesting. It's from a comic, right? Hmm... Maybe I should, maybe I should take out reading that comic just to like, you know, get, um, get into the universe a bit more. It's a interesting universe, like having, um, magical beings hiding themselves in the so-called real world. Anyway, let's move really on. You shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. Oh wait, did I finish my thought? Yeah, I don't think I have. Like, uh, everybody is uh, so scared of the crooked man and doesn't want to... Doesn't want to um, make him angry or anything or do anything that he doesn't like. So I find it hard to believe that uh, there would be a Rook employee. Even for someone like Bloody Mary, like uh, a wave of his hand is enough to stop her from killing Big B. So, yeah, Faith and Lily has got to be killed on his orders. The question is why? And I haven't even, I don't have a single idea why that would be like he seems pretty in control of everything and even before the murders he's and even now he's keeping crane under his thumb so why did why did they have to die like hmm i don't even think faith did anything wrong Unless, unless the something wrong is because I stopped their fight and they somehow heard that Faith would want to talk to me so they silenced her first and then it just got out of hand? But then why did Lily have to go? Unless Lily is a warning. Hmm, I guess it's possible if you are just like, you don't care about their well-being and all and everyone are just pawns to you. Hmm, okay. Ah oh, yeah, true, true, true. I'm gonna take it. Bedtime stories. <laughs> no, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Twiddledee, uh, please. I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than a- That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, 
If you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just... Sit down. Now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd Why? you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? It Look, does. The fact is... George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then told attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis! You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fuck- I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions. Not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuckers Just are? Get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best. No, I think I want to stay. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you Ooh. saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go Ooh. down this shit and with you? I told you! I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go! This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Ah. Uh. That is, that is quite a cool entrance. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I guess it's a fight then. Again. Take this. Uh oh. Whoa. You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. Oh, I'd no. like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Ow. Oh. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Is. Well, I guess they're fables, oh, so oh. they won't die? Question mark. Ooh. Almost missed that. This way. Uh, am I really gonna do that? I guess. Okay. So where am I gonna end up now? Come on, Georgie. Oh, shit! I know. I know. No, I don't want. No. Uh, okay. I guess. And then again, I guess they are my only clues. Or hints to where the crooked man would go, so I got no choice, I suppose. Oh, what's that? Why? 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 
why is there a pink bar at the bottom? Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh. <laughs> I'm making such noises! You can probably tell I'm pretty bad at quick time events. Run me over, okay. Get out. Gun it. Are you sure? Do it. He's not moving. Keep going. Did I somehow choose the right area? Okay, I hope. I hope. My brain's not working. I'm too tensed. I'm too scared. Oh, okay. Come on. Um, okay, I'm dressed now. <laughs> yeah, probably. I guess. That's a very big red though. Oh, that's all I'm gonna examine? Eh, okay. Oh, can I go in there? Nope, invisible wall. Alright. Oof. I- oh yeah. I guess that could have gone Come worse. On. We can't stay here. Uh, hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Wait, wait. I want to listen. No, I just walked in there. Okay, that's fine. Shit. Hello, Big B. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> <laughs> You need Cookie help Cookie man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff? I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. <sighs> you gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking- mean... ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too! You know I didn't have a goddamn choice! What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that! Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told! Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? Yeah, let me know. Ooh, I wanna know look, what the crooked man Faith has on you. tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. Oh. But of course... 
The big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I okay. fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Yeah. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. I want to get a crooked man so though. easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. Well, Georgie, uh, not to, not to stress this point, uh, too much, but, um, the game isn't giving me the choices that I want, so I can't help but be forced, <laughs> just like you said, I have no choice to choose choices that actually blame you. I actually want to get the crooked man, so, um... Um, I guess we are in the same situation where we have no choice. Oh uh, man, I hope George... Mm. Then again, he did pull the trigger, so... He... I... Mm. Manslaughter? No, I don't think that's considered manslaughter because it is straight up murder. He does have to go do time for it, I suppose. But yeah, I don't think I'll be satisfied just putting Georgie behind bars. I do want to get a crooked man. His... all niceties and everything, making things seem all up and up, but... man, he is one nasty person. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if Free and Lily meant she had to die. Oh. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You I see. And the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you uh, come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? Okay. We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait. Uh. So you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you... Also, Georgie, can I take you in just so that I can get Dr. Swinehart to... <laughs> to actually give you medical attention? Uh, I appreciate the storytelling though. I mean, you are telling me information that I need to know. If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. To be what honest. What are you doing? Break the spell. 
Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can. Don't about me like I'm not even here. Please. Whoops. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm oh. sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to Gwen forget and Hans. what I've done to them. Oh. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. No. Wait, is she gonna do what I think she's gonna do? Uh Okay. Okay, let me prepare myself a bit. I hope not, but it seems that it would go that way. <sighs> Okay, oh uh, well I guess on the bright side I don't have to google to see how it looks question mark Oh man okay all right let's Uh okay yep yep Okay oh man Whew. All right What are you doing Vivian don't! Uh, uh, Vivian! No! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Damn it! Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I get- okay, I guess they love each other. Oh, oh man. Fuck. Get up. Whoa, get that injury up. Don't feel is so big, big. really bad. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Come on, can Just I call make Swine sure Give now? the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? No, I want to get the doctor. Or oh, do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Stop showing- it quick. <sighs> I know what I did. What? <laughs> okay, one thing good, I guess, that you can still pause while it's on a timer. I guess if I don't choose, I would still leave him to die, right? But I don't want to kill him. I want to call the doctor. And I guess it's a fatal wound, so it doesn't matter if Swineheart is here. So the option now is whether to make it easier for him, or rather, I guess, not make it that painful. Oh man! I... Uh, 
und äh, Okay, fuzzy. Um, I got a question. If I leave him to die, will he really die and like suffer? Or you're not sure about that? I... I'm really not suited to be the big bad wolf, I guess. <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable doing this. Um... Oh man, I... I yeah. Wow, this is really give me discomfort, actually. I do kind of understand not leaving him in pain. Yeah, he dies either way. Okay. Um. Well, he does want to not draw it out. Alright, alright. He wants it to end quickly, so I guess I'll just kill him to spare him any pain it's sort of it's 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 sort of oh you chose to leave hmm just walk out of the club but he kind of wants to die right As in, like, he doesn't want to feel the pain anymore? <sighs> ah, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of like a last, last, um, what's it called? Dying request? It's like those zombie films where you, you ask the person to kill you because you don't want to turn into them, into a zombie. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna think of it that way. If they want to die, because there's no other way, and they ask you to end it for them. <laughs> okay, I'll kill him. Assuming I can draw, draw this choose out. it in time. Okay. Alright, Georgie. <laughs> Sorry, Georgie. Oh man. Oh. Yeah. It's very tough. Man. I guess the open arms is out of business now. <laughs> One way to look at it. All right, crooked man. Sound to you. Oh, I got to bring you in alive. I'm not sure if I can do that, judging from the way things go. And Bloody Mary is here too, so... I think I'm gonna have a quite a big trouble dealing with her. Still warm. Okay. He's here, all right. Uh, don't think there's anything else to see. I guess not. Can I turn the lights off? Hmm. Probably not. Then again. Oh, oh, oh. Shh. Bloody Mary is the problem, I think. Or am I underestimating the crooked man too much? Maybe he... Maybe he can fight. 
Um, helps to know he definitely won't if you just leave. Ooh. Hello, Kingmaker. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, thanks for the follow as well. I need to fix that. <laughs> I gotta put that in front of the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I think if he yells while I walk out, that would make me feel even worse. Yep. Man, how's it going though, Kingmaker? Did I call you Kingmaker? Or King? Or just Maker? Of course. Oh, Q. Oh, this Q is not that bad. Oof. Okay, come on. I'm starting to get tensed again. <laughs> I'm scared there would be like uh, quick time events. And we all know how bad I am at it. So this is where they've been sending these. The best safety device is a careful worker. Hmm. Why does that seem so... <laughs> Ooh. It's going good, thanks for- Ah, I'm- I'm- I'm doing good, uh... As good as it can be, considering how stressful <laughs> this game makes me feel. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Wow. It's gonna be hard to find them, I guess, in here. Big B Wolf. Oh. Where? The big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Thanks for the warning. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> I have a feeling. Okay, yep. Yep, yep. Alright, alright, alright. I can do this. I can do this. Poof. Alright. Good thing is, my arm doesn't feel that uh, stress today, so. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, wait. This is a coffin. <gasps> Who are they keeping in here? Ikebot crate. Oh, <gasps> fowls? Depths. Wow. Okay, can I burn this book? Burn this book? <laughs> there used to be something. Burn this box? Jack Horner. Oh, it's oh that must be Jack Jack. Boy Blue. Ah, this is someone else that I don't exactly know who. Oh, they- Wow, I have four boxes? <gasps> surveillance, I see. They got me under surveillance. Oh, Snow White and King Cole. Can I assume that these are the, uh, incorruptible? Uncorruptible? Not corruptible? Not corruptible? Yeah, I think that's the word. Oh, that it keep under surveillance. <gasps> Which means Bluebeard isn't. Oh well, I'm not surprised, I guess. Depths. Ah, Bluebeard has depths too. I wonder what Crooked Man got on him. Ooh, yep. Wait, when did snow kiss me? Oh no wait, that's not snow, that's... Uh, face? <gasps> Is this... Oh no no, wait 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 wait. No, this can't be why they killed her. This must be why they sent her... Sent her? Left her head at my doorstep. She was already thinking of running. Right, right, okay. Um... Oh, who are these? Is that s Oh no wait, that's not Snow. That's Nerissa. Oh, I guess Faith and Lily. Right. Is this at the... 
Oh yeah, I can't, honestly can't wait for the second game to come out. Even though, yeah, there's that issue with that whole debacle about um, this studio. So I'm kind of spoof. Mm, I guess not so sure about um, playing the second game, yet I do want to know the story, so yeah, kind of conflicted. Yeah, conflicted, that's the word. Kind of conflicted about that. Oh, they argued. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, as you can tell. To fear you. Wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> she's scaring me. Uh, anyway. Finishing my thought. As you can tell, I do tend to <laughs> explore everything. Uh, is this a <laughs> is this a jump scare game all They'd of a sudden? Anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Uh, yeah, I think I read that it it's gonna come out next year. I'm not sure if they did talk about a delay uh, I'm trying to recall but I don't know oh this is the crooked Ooh. torture device thing okay it was announced after yep yeah. Probably, but um, the whole uh, issue about the way they treated the writers and the developers also, it's kind of sketchy in a way, like they fired them or something and then they created a new studio and then they continued, so yeah, it's... it's... Mm, I don't know. It's a pity in a way because the story is kind of interesting. <laughs> Please don't jump out at me. <laughs> oh... Creating silver bullets. Oh no. Oh, so I guess this is the base of Bloody Mary. Silver. The big bad wolf. Whoa. What did I say? It's about time you showed up. What did I say? I Don't had jump to take scare care me. Of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Yeah, it's very ah, messy. Baby. Which I is why I'm conflicted. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aww. How much he worse can it be? Play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> um. Hey, I'm talking to you. Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Well, my manners went out the window once you give me timed options. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, still, but someone else bought it out. Uh, I guess, but the whole issue about uh, leaving your original devs and writers, I mean, um, in a way, if they rehired them, it might not be that bad of a... It's still messy, I think, in my opinion. Like, the whole... You're, you're upending, like, lives and stuff, you know? And the whole, like, continuing uh, the studio and everything after you fired people, mm, it's a bit... I don't know, it still feels a bit wrong. Like if you want to continue, uh, you can continue to hire people, right? As in hire the same people. 
Well, uh, that, yeah, I I don't really want to comment too much, I guess, since it's sort of a old story in a way. But yeah, it's it's not my place either because I'm not affected in a sense. I'm just an enjoyer of the um, stories. Eh, yeah. Anyway, continuing. Yeah, Bloody Mary, my manners. I don't have any if you give me timed options. Sorry about that. Too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town. Okay, I guess. Oh, come on. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh, wow. Okay, I should probably but I should probably say this before I get cut off again. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. She's mm. oh, I don't Pause. Okay, pause. <gasps> Um, this, 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 why, why does, why did this game suddenly turn into like a horror game or something? Like, um, excuse me, hello, my heart, my heart. Ooh. Okay, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, uh, apologies if I suddenly become very quiet <laughs> because I'm concentrating too hard on the quick time events. Uh, I have a feeling that if I miss one of it, I'm gonna pay really badly, so yeah, apologies. Okay, whew, okay, wait, wait, let me drink. Don't forget to hydrate, people. Alright, let's do this. We can do this, I can do this, let's do this. Oh man, fuzzy! Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh... Oh, what? What? <laughs> So that's Where what it, are you? That's what it Come looks like. Face me. If I miss, it turns red. Ooh, why do you look like that? Suddenly. Man, her design. Oh, wait. I'm screwed. I am screwed.
I'm being overwhelmed. Ow! Did I die? Am I dead? No, 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 no. Kill, 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 kill. Oh. Now this is cool. <gasps> That's the real one. Killed me with the shot. Uh, no, not killed me, but stabbed me. Did I? Did I do it? <gasps> I think I did. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness, my shoulders. Oh, you're still here. Hello, I'm coming for you. Oh, you seem pretty calm. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Oof. This I... gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Yes, that's a good reason. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swinehart to save you, you'll die. Is Let's that hear you out then. You? Before you do anything with me, okay. I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Wait. Why is he giving himself up so easily? Something tells me that he's rigged the so-called fair trial. Either rigged or... Hmm... Now that I think about it, I don't think the citizens of Faber Town would... Put him behind bars in a sense. Based on how glib he is, you know? He has a way with words. And I guess he has helped them out more than what the business office has. So I'm not sure that bringing him in, in a sense, will put him... would sort of serve justice. Um, this feels a bit too... yeah. It feels like he has, he has the, you know, uh, upper hand here. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Oh. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. 
That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. Eh. Okay. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is... Ooh. Okay. Um... Hmm... I feel like this is going to be a pretty... important choice here. For some reason. It's about justice. It's about Fable Town. It's about faith. What do I care about? I could always don't answer, but... Why do I think that if I don't follow his plan, he's gonna throw himself out of the window and make it seem like I killed him? But does he really want to die just like that? Hmm. Or maybe not die, but just being injured. So it would make me seem like a very bad person, right? Okay. So maybe I should answer. But if I say it's about Fable Town, he would say that it's... Whatever he's doing is for Fable Town as well, right? And if it's about justice, he's gonna say that it's not his fault. The killer is Georgie. Am I thinking too much? <laughs> I feel like I'm thinking too much, way too much. Um... I don't feel like justice is a right answer-ish. Mm, man, I hate choices. <laughs> Especially choices that actually kind of uh, influence, I guess, the story in a way. But yet, I love this kind of games. Such contradictions. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Let me think, let me think. Um, I'm either gonna do Justice or Fable Town. Can I, can I have 50-50 please? Or call a friend? <laughs> um, I mean, he's pretty bad regards. Yeah. True. I'm just trying to think of like what his uh defense would be. Because I feel like whatever I answer, he would take that defense in the trial. If that makes sense. Or maybe I'm just thinking too much. Yeah, he is a businessman. Indeed. Maybe the right answer is don't answer then. So that he doesn't know what defense to take. Um, should I take the chance? Not answer. But I feel like if I don't answer, he would take it as I'm escalating. 
I'm fuzzy. Help. <laughs> I'm so conflicted. Um. Okay, okay, fuzzy. What did you pick? I just kind of want to uh, have a reference point, if that makes sense. What? Yeah, I, I, I think if I think the faith answer is definitely too narrow of a answer because this whole thing is much bigger than just her, right? Wait, then again. We got onto this whole case because of Faith. And that's the- oh, but then yeah. <laughs> oh, don't say a thing. Interesting. Oh, by the way, King, have you played this before? I assume you have. I honestly don't remember, but I took him to trial rather than killing him. Yeah, I don't think I want to kill him. If there's a choice to not kill him. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, I see. That kind of sign, kind of spells, spells? That kind of suggests that it didn't play out well. Mm. Yeah, I I feel like mm. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. Let me think. Faith would be too narrow of an answer. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Thanks for not spoiling though. Um I guess it's kind of fun for you folks as well to see how much I'm struggling with this. <laughs> um, 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 oh man, okay, don't think too much about it. Okay, okay. Whew. Right. Right. I'm not gonna answer. I'm not gonna answer. I do want to take him to trial, but... Uh... Then again... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna worm out of it. So maybe the right answer is to kill him. And then we can start afresh. Because everyone's, everyone's, um, I guess collateral or whatever that the crooked man has a hold, uh, will just be released, right? Eek. But Snow wouldn't be happy. Uh, uh, that's not answer. That's not answer. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. You're smart, I'll admit that. So what I just don't understand is why you're here. I mean, you want to catch your killer, right? Georgie. Yeah, that would be f He's if I choose face. I'm pretty sure. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. Not you really. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, yep, I'm actually go. looking forward to seeing Miss White again. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Uh... Fine. Ooh. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. 
You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Not sure about that, considering how well he speaks. But we'll see. Okay. I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Motherfucker. Ooh. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. Eh, the crooked man's place. a little bit. Yeah. He didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. <laughs> Not that you did well, but that, you know... You know, he's alive? I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get Those off? You think you have the right and to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Wow. That is overwhelming. <laughs> okay. I know I said that I thought the people would stand on the crooked man's side. Oh, but then again, he hasn't spoken yet, so... Maybe he would be able to turn his fate around. <gasps> anyway, I've already made a choice to bring him to trial, so let's see how it goes. This, you Fucking should be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. Okay. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder of As Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I was I told who would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest what of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the- Ooh. <laughs> And being a con condescending prick. <laughs> I like how that's uh, an option. Um, oh wait. Don't interrupt. Hmm, yeah, this is sort of like a formal... Yeah, I shouldn't interrupt. Or should I... Uh... Kidnapping Crane? Should I add that? Resisting Arrest? Hmm... Should I add more charges? But it wouldn't be that nice to interrupt. Either. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's not interrupt. Yeah. Illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> Why does he First smile? All, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. 
Bullshit! Like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're in- Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on but with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. Quite, but we have to stop somewhere, right? You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? <laughs> Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those Lies. Women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is fucking bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Yeah, Any of you actually nope. believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me. As I protect <gasps> them. Wow. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. Just to Ooh, that cry mm, they didn't uh, uh You better have a point. They didn't want to protect you or I have to say something. Uh Yeah, okay. Save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions. As George Lies. Was. Total what lies. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... That any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. You are, though. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, oh. sniveling on street corners. Yeah, I, I knew you'd say that. Out for you. Uh oh yes, but Ooh, uh, didn't abandon anybody that was crane don't turn this on us but then again uh oh i don't think it's crane though i believe crane is also uh being under his thumb so hmm I don't think I can say we didn't abandon anybody because we kind of did. Even though it's uh not on purpose. Yeah, okay, don't turn this on us. Yeah. Wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Oh, Her that might be the wrong Coleman. option. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. 
I got her tree back, and in turn we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Ooh, Snow isn't to blame. Snow made a mistake. Don't try to manipulate us. Ooh, okay. I'm either going to choose don't try to manipulate us or Snow made a mistake. But I'm not sure which one would be the better choice. There's also something about um, the way they give you choices, you know? They don't exactly tell you what it really does. So sometimes I choose a choice and it just was not something that I wanted. Uh, or maybe it's just me not being able to understand basic English. <laughs> English is hard. It's so hard. Okay, uh, should I admit that Snow made a mistake? But then Snow would be unhappy. But then that's the truth though. Okay, Snow made a mistake. Snow. Yep. Why would you want that? I know. Snow made a mistake. I have very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. I knew it. I knew it she wouldn't be happy. Fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing Ooh. to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. Okay, at least Crane, uh, Crane, <laughs> at least Snow is uh, admitting that now. And yeah, yeah, they, I agree, they don't have the best descriptions. It's, it's, uh, I, I don't know if it's because at that point of time, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't uh, a standard, standard? I think, if I recall right, this was like one of the first few games that actually done this type of genre, right? So they didn't exactly have like other games to uh, show them sort of how to describe things. Then again, do games these days have better descriptions i'm not exactly sure to be honest i'm not i have not kept up with um this genre um okay i've made some mistakes good that you but acknowledge it me, i truly want what's best for this town and that may not always be clear right away but i want you all to know that i care deeply about all of you and so does the sheriff. Oh, thank you for including me in that. Yeah, right. I can't promise um, you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. Oh, I see. Okay. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness um, and add it to his strength. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. Oh, that, that looks much. like that looks You're like I choose still afraid the of right him, option. Even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those Ooh. girls will have their justice. Oh, 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 oh. Did I make it? Did I make it? Very good. Very good. Such the a condescending sure clap. It, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the Georgie murders. was working for you. Bigby got a confession. A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister. But I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's 
history. Hey. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna say F you. That would probably undo all all the uh progress that I have done so far. You can't talk your way out of this. What about your history? Uh, I guess that might work. But that feels so tit for tat, you know? Like like a a a, a playground uh fight. You're ugly. No, you're ugly. <laughs> Uh, not an exact uh, parallel, but close enough, I guess. Mm, that kind of sounds funny, too. Let's try that. Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't no! feel right how we're doing this. I just need... Of course it's right. This man tormented all of you for profit. George, he Let killed me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of oh, course. Oh, no. Where are you going with this? If oh, I'm no. to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Yep. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. How about the way he treated poor Tweedledee when he was in your custody? That was Bluebeard. He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior. But I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. Oh. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after... Um, I've... Probably chose something wrong. Calm down, please. Definitely. Mm, that's not true. Sounds like a tantrum, too. But I shouldn't ask everyone to shut up. Or calm down. And I shouldn't keep quiet either. Ah, uh, only choice is that's not true, I guess. Ah! Uh -uh! Oh, please, please be the right choice. Do we deal with you? That's not true. I mean, true. a certain level of privilege should be afforded to... To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Damn it. Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Damn it. Judging you. Treating you as mindless children too I've stupid lost it. I've to lost command it. your no. own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? I'm not that big. Who okay, will wait. Big B? I'm not Miss dead. White! Excuse me, I... dear. <sighs> I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder? she doing here? Let her talk. I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. My dear, I don't... Just shut up. Ooh. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we, we couldn't say a word we about it witness. because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? 
Did he? Sheriff, um, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm I gotta sorry, tell her the truth. I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith nice, and Lily nice, are dead. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, I'm so excited that I, <laughs> I had to pause it for a second. Sorry, sorry that I'm disrupting the um 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 um. What's that term? What? Oh, wow. I don't remember the term. Um, 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 um. When you get so engrossed in the Sorry, never bite. I'm gonna forget that. Okay, let's see. This confirms it. We know what happened. And he's gonna pay for it. He's gonna pay for it. Yes, yes, yes. Because of you. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're yep. going to take the word of a stupid- At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know- Ooh, uh, What do you expect? I could just rip you apart. You've done talking. Mm. I feel like if I say what do you expect? He's gonna turn it around again. Cause it's kind of like, you know, we are not changing anything. Uh, you're done talking. Yeah, you're done no, talking. we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We oh. can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. I'm How not can sure, sure if... Want yeah. I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't blood so so we get rid of him. Get him out of we can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should, should vote, have then. have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about oh. him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. <gasps> that makes sense to me. I guess it does. <laughs> okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Uh, okay. Lubia Miss has Wolf, a point. It's your call. But no. I don't Just want- do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Ooh. Ooh, okay, you can't tell right now because my arms aren't working. Well, my arms won't be working. I'm just a model. But I have my arms, like, arms? I have my hands, like, on my head right now. <laughs> on my head? Grabbing my head? Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> I don't know. I'm definitely not going to rip his head off. That is true. Oh, but then, I guess that's what Lily and... um. Gren? Is his name Gren? Once? Lock him up as Auntie Greenleaf. And throw him down the well is, I guess, the others? Or oh, maybe Snow wants him thrown down the well as well. Uh, I 
I don't... Oh my goodness. Okay, question. I don't think there's a very big... Uh... Issue, right? No matter what I choose. Like... Oh, wait. If I choose one or the other, the others won't be happy regardless. Yeah, I can't- I can't make everyone happy. I guess I have to live with that. Um, but I don't think I want to rip his head off. It's gonna tell everyone that I'm still the big bad wolf, which... To be honest, I haven't been in this whole playthrough. <laughs> I've just been too uncomfortable with doing any sort of violence when, it, when it's, um, when it's not required. Hmm, so it's either throw him down or lock him up. Throwing him down is also killing him, right? Uh, lock him up. It only might matter in the second game if you let him live. Oh. I see. No real way to know. I see. Well... I guess if I'm gonna play the second game, I can just replay this. Just to... See what happens. Hmm... So this is sort of final if I'm not playing it. Hmm... Lock him up. I know Auntie Greenleaf would... I think she would do pretty good magic and stuff to stop him from coming out. But I kinda don't want him to live. Ah, falling for entirety seems pretty... seems pretty cruel as well, in a sense. Uh, because, like, well, <laughs> feeling that sense of falling is quite uncomfortable, I guess, for long periods of time. I mean, if you played, like, uh, played, uh, ridden, ridden roller coasters, that short, um, that short time when you like go down all the way is pretty scary. So multiply that to eternity. Um, um, but we won't have to deal with him. That's the issue. Issue? No, that's the um, that's the advantage, right? Whereas if we lock him up, oh man, my hands are on my forehead again. I'm clutching my head in despair. I don't know what to choose. Okay, I'm gonna throw him down a well. It might upset Greenleaf, but, and it might upset Lily. A uh, Lily, Holly, and Gren. But I think that's what the majority want, in a sense. Unless Bluebeard wants him to die, die. Yep, I'm gonna throw him down. Everyone, I'm not this way. Wow! <laughs> okay, wait, I've got a question. Does this happen no matter what I choose, or...? Because <laughs> it feels like I've spent an almost an eternity, so to speak, trying to choose an option, and then it just... and this happens? <laughs> oh wow. Okay, okay, I'll give you that game. Making me... making me pull my hair out. Almost literally. 
Okay, okay. Last few QTEs. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to. Whoa! Again. Okay, I'm gonna throw him down a well. Sleep. You're going to miss me. Goodbye. No, I won't. <laughs> For Lily and Faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. That's true. Hmm. But yeah, that that one is not. Uh. Not worth it to keep. I guess. I mean, he's been torturing everyone. Oh, wait. What? This choice is blank. Game, what are you doing? What? Why are you doing this to me? Why? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say anything then. Yep. Did I sleep though? One day Someone's later. See oh. You, Colin. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Him toddling around. Jokov? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. Oh. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Is that Toad? Great. Whoa, why, why? Why? Why, game? Why? Okay, fine. What? Game? Where? That wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> Did I miss what? anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <clears throat> what just happened? <clears throat> Hello, game. Do you just reset? <clears throat> What? Take this. Back out. You're done, Wolf. Come on. We're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Wait, what? What's going on? Why does everything seem like reset? What do you mean by back out, Fuzzy? As in, to the main menu? Something is very wrong. Uh huh. I. Yeah. I feel like everything just reset, right? Oh man, please don't tell me I've... Please don't tell me I've lost... Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. Oh, that's Flycatcher. For how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Hmm. 
Why are they all looking at oh, me like this? Uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Um, everything okay? Is everything okay? You look. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Yep, that's fine. We've got a lot of people to. Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. We've got a lot of people to handle. Handle? Um, help. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Okay, so that's how this scene is supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah, checking that ass. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I didn't waste like the whole hour or so. Past hour or so. I think I spent an hour or maybe one and a half hours. I'm not sure. Whew. That was a scary one as well. Oh, hang on. Toad's going. Oh, Garland. Jesus. We only I... have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Man. <sighs> Shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Uh, Wait, Sheriff Bigby. Do I still I have, have the money? I want to give you the money. You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked oh, that one the best. Oh, man. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep oh, sometimes. Oh, this is... God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even I feel bad. Daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> I feel really bad. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? Uh, I'm no. not so sure about it. I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? Yeah, yeah. All set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Man. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? And they don't even have a roof. It's raining. Saying oh. goodbye. I wonder if it's possible to help them. Like, let them stay. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. It's kind of trauma traumatic, I guess. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. Okay, what, what is, is it? it? <laughs> it's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not All sure right. where to start. Do tell me, now that you can talk. Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. 
But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, just tell me what happened. Narissa sold okay. her out? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to oh leave my us God. alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. Wow, okay. I didn't okay. want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. Wow, and while the two okay. Of us we're sitting there as he was telling me this. Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie. Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said. I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What? It doesn't matter. I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess uh, what's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality, especially right. after that night after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment, so I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. So that's why... You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. <laughs> She's People been helping like me since the start. All of the, time. the crooked man was counting on that. True that, true that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. Uh, we just unfortunate. Fade. But true. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. Well, I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make Hopefully. things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone i just can't win with these people <laughs> I know that is true that way but they need you big b both of you you two make a good team the way you look out for each other and look out for us you don't uh, see that a lot these days i don't really know where we stand anymore things are just different huh things are always different look big b after everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. Well, I try to listen. When to show mercy. Oh, and thanks. You brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. Well, thank you. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood- Oh, sorry to cut you off. Uh, I've made a lot of mistakes. I hope I've done some good. Mm. <laughs> oh, and yeah, so you didn't find a way to help uh, Mr. Toad. Um... That is super unfortunate.
I wish there was a way to keep them like how I kept Colin. Well, I say I kept Colin, but like let him uh roam around, stay here instead of going to the farm. I would rather I would rather fix the farm, so called, so to speak, before sending any more uh people there. But eh, guess the game doesn't work that way. But okay, um made a lot of mistakes. I hope I've done some good. Eh, yeah. No chance against the crooked man. It was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Uh, yeah. If I stole all the money, right? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Whoa, that's not the first time someone said that to me. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope Wait. you find what you're looking for. Is Nerissa face? Ooh. Huh? <laughs> okay. Oh man. I What? I want to get to the bottom of this, but I don't know if this would cause a ripple effect or whatever. My instinct is to let her go, but I want to find out. Oh man. Um. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Should I, should I go after her? Oh, I'm I'm having so much dead air on my stream because of my decision making. My poor decision making skills. Poor? Slow. Slow decision making skills. Um 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 Let it be Hmm. But I want to know, though. But I feel like the best decision here is to let her go. Mini, miny, mini, mo, something, 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 and then more words that I don't remember, and then the ending phrase is this. Hmm, it ended on let her go. Alright, let her go. I'm definitely gonna replay that just to see. <laughs> Privately, probably. I'll see you around, Wolf. Well, who said that? I don't recall the voice. I, I don't recall the voice? I don't recognize the voice. Ooh, okay. Wow, majority, huh? I guess... I guess because he wanted it, he asked for it. Ooh, this is overwhelming. How do you punish? Oh, I'm in the minority here. Hmm. <laughs> wow. This, this, this group of people. <laughs> so cruel. What were your last words? Huh? Okay. 
Wow. That is something. I I really enjoyed this ending, so to speak. Um yeah. I'm conflicted, but I kind of can't wait for the new game. Uh I do I am curious about how they're gonna continue it. But I yeah, this was fun. Uh, I'm not sure what the next game that um, I would play on Friday. Um, yeah, if you have any suggestions, do let me know on Twitter. Uh, yeah, I would, I would take them into considerations. I mean, there were three different choices, so um, uh, yeah, true, maybe. It's possible. I wish they would let us know, like, the actual, um, uh, uh, numbers, right? Just curious, you know? Hmm. Yeah, um, if you have any suggestions for the next game, do let me know. I'll uh, consider them. Uh, currently, I'm thinking of another puzzle-ish game. So yeah, I'll see. I'll see if I'm gonna play that. I'm still on the fence. But yeah, I'm thinking of playing Detective Grimoire, Secrets of the Swamp. That seems pretty fun, so that might be the next one. I'm not sure yet, but yeah. I'm about 70% sure I'll play that. So if you're interested, you can come on down next week and check it out as well. But yeah, ooh, special stats, I see. Ah, uh, yep, I lied. Fought him. Well, he didn't give me a choice. Offered him protection. Yes, I did. Um... I helped him avoid the farm. I wished I could help the other one. The other one. Toad, I mean. <laughs> Took him back. Yep. Tossed him. Gave her money. Oh, I did. Oh. Huh. So if, let's say, I grabbed all the money, and if I don't give her money, maybe I would be able to save Toad. Because I don't think just... Uh, I think there were two options. Two times. Two times? Three times that I could grab money. Hmm. Anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. I did smash this place. I wish I didn't. Well, I say smashed. I only smashed his TV, so... Not exactly. <laughs> this is not exactly 100% true. I drank. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, brought her along, choose to wait for him. Ah, Tiny Tim. Yeah, I wonder which which fairy tale this person is from. Accepted his beetle, yes. And I stood up for him. Right. Crane's coat had a lot of- yeah. Uh, there was the one in Crane's coat. There was the one in his apartment. And then there was the one uh, from Tweedo, one of the Tweedos. So I took the one from the Tweedos. Eh? Wait, that was after... No. I didn't take the one from the Tweedo. I took the one from the apartment. The money I gave Faith was my own. Right. So if I maybe if I didn't give Faith, then I take the money from Twido, from the apartment, and from the coat. Then maybe it'll give me the option to save Toad. Because Toad's wait, but Toad and TJ. Toad keeps saying that he needs a lot of money to glamour the whole family, but why is it only Toad and TJ that went to the farm? Where's the rest of them? <laughs> Just poking holes in the story. Anyway. 
Okay, let's let the credits run. Whew, thank you everyone that worked on this. This was, this was fun. This was really fun. Um, despite the... Despite the... <laughs> the air pulling situations that you gave me. Oh man. I didn't enjoy that. And the sort of horror-ish episode with uh, Bloody Mary. Man, that design though. Bloody Mary's design is so... Um, how should I say it? Interesting? It's like mirror shots everywhere. I guess that's a pretty interesting uh, interpretation of, of that urban legend as well. Yeah, I enjoyed it pretty much. Pretty much? Very much. <laughs> My words are all of the all over the place today. Well, I guess you can't really blame me. <laughs> it's too early in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I hope you I hope you enjoyed my first playthrough. Uh, I yeah, wow, I have. I'm almost speechless at how much I enjoyed this game. Oh, and you, why? Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, so um. I guess I'll leave it here. Yep, I'll leave it here. Let the credits uh let the credits run and nice. Ooh. Pick up the graphic novel today. <gasps> I might. I might just do that. Continue. Will this take me to the main menu? There's no yep, okay. I was, uh, for some reason, hoping for an end, uh, credit, end credit, end video or something, but never mind. I guess this isn't the era for those, but yeah, thanks for watching and hanging out, uh, everyone. Thanks for the follow as well. Uh, thanks for lurking if you have been lurking, and yeah, have a fantastic day.